Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you all right? Can you move? The others. The impact. There's nothing... Well, happened. sadly, everyone perished in the... Oh, wait, hold on a second. What the fuck is that? Holy shit. Oh. Yes. It's some kind of ring. It's almost a... like... Warning. Uh, a halo. halo. Whoa! I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe so, that everyone aboard this lifeboat died. Did in you the ever world. actually like sneak past the Covenant ship? Um, maybe like the first time I did it, but like that's no fun. You're supposed to like wait behind a rock, and it will come by and go, work, 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 and then fucking leave, mm. and then you're like, <laughs> fucking. Well, hey. Oh, hey. The mythic skull. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna hide out here for a moment. You will see me. Okay. Alright. Yeah, let's, let's check out this waterfall. That's, that's a nice waterfall, isn't it? That's a nice... I mean... Oh. 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 Yeah, that looks okay, but the waterfall, not so much. The cost of graphical updates <laughs> is too steep sometimes. So yeah, you you can, if you're quick enough, you can sneak past like all this stuff going on over here. But that is no fun, and we are here now on the Halo. So it's time for us to mess some dudes up. What do you think we're gonna do? Just sit around and not do anything? You're gonna pop that grunt in the skull? Yeah. Dang, got him. Also, I want you to watch very carefully what this grunt in the back here does. Watch him. Nice work, my man. <laughs> and then you shoot him in the back three times like you shot that elite. <laughs> hey, he, I, like, he may have helped me, but he's still the enemy. What if that was his way of saying, don't shoot, I'm friendly? I, I feel that if... I feel there are better ways for him to communicate this to me than sticking an explosive to his friend's back. It's not like aliens know fucking English, dude. Except for all the times when grunts say things like little people first and <laughs> other phrases like that. I mean, yeah, if you want to... If you want to be that way about it, then sure. So there are some... Alien, light alien aircraft here. They are called Banshees. Uh, you know why they're called Banshees? Why are they called Banshees? Is it because of the sound that they make? Yep, when they go past you, they make that noise. And we did just take out a light aircraft with a with a pistol. That's the thing you can do. You can you can you can do that in real life. I mean, if you shoot if you shoot through the windshield you can. Yeah, but like, all we were doing was shooting the body of the aircraft and it just blew up. It's a testament to how strong the pistol in Halo 1 really is. It's ridiculous. Honestly, I, I don't like the pistol in Halo 1 that much. No? No. Like that. Uh, it's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, it is ridiculously strong. I cannot argue with you there. There he goes. There they all go. Although that like is... how the grunts are like, Haha, it's time to get... <gasps> the fuck. <laughs> Although, like, the re like, I like the pistol because of how strong it is, so that means it's like a really good, uh, a really good weapon to use uh, online and in the, um, and in the campaign. But then when other people use it against me, I'm like, fucking, fucking pistols bullshit. <laughs> I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. We should check to see if there are any survivors. Alright, so we were not the only ones who evacuated from the Pillar of Autumn. There were actually several other life pods that jettisoned themselves from the Pillar of Autumn. 
and it is going to be our job today to regroup and find the rest of the soldiers who are also made it here to Halo. <laughs> I can turn like, who shot? <laughs> who did that? Hey, here's some guys here. Hey, Sergeant Johnson and some other guy. It's a mess, sir. We're scattered all over this valley. Oh my god! Se oh. What? Oh. 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 Yeah, someone in the thread mentioned that they totally whitewashed Sergeant Johnson. Uh, and yeah. They totally fucking whitewashed Sergeant Johnson. It's kind of, um... Not good. I didn't know. I wasn't really aware of that, I guess. And then you, like, switched, and you're like, holy shit. When I last played the, uh, the anniversary edition of Halo 1, I did think that there was something off about him, but I thought that was just because all the other character, like, human character models looked weird, so I thought it was just that. But, no, they totally fucking whitewashed him. Oh, wait, where's he gone? Hey, would you, would you, would you, would you please? Okay, thank you. <laughs> he should have just stayed down after the first hit, honestly. Mm. Um, so, one thing we did not touch on last episode is the different classes of Covenant that are in this game. Uh, obviously we won't touch on all of them because some of them are sh secret. But, um, so we have the Elites which is this big blue dude that I'm shooting at right now. They're kind of your standard foot soldier. I guess they're about... They have about as much health as they're the like a corporal. does. Yeah. They have they have a shield, which you have to get through before you can actually do any damage to, kind of like the Master Chief. Then you have the little dudes. They are grunts, and they are the weakest enemy uh, in the... Well, one of the weakest enemies in the game... Uh, one headshot with pretty much any weapon will kill them fairly instantly. A short burst from the assault rifle do them in. Um, the orange ones take usually take a couple of melee hits. Um, did I say orange ones? I meant the red ones usually take a couple of melee hits, and then the orange ones take uh, like one melee hit, and then they'll they'll just kill over dead. Uh, and then we did briefly, a few seconds ago, we did see uh, an enemy type known as a Jackal. Jackals are... they're also quite weak, um, but they have uh, like an, they have a, a shield. A riot carry, shield. Yeah, they have like a riot shield that they carry around with them. And they kind of hide behind it, and it can be quite difficult to get a good shot on them. Um, the best way is to like try and aim. There's like a very small kind of gap on on either side of the shield, um, and the best way to go about dealing with them is to shoot that, and then they'll like stumble backwards, and then you can get like, a decent shot at their head or the rest of their body. Uh, and that is all the covenant that we'll be seeing this time. Oh, there's also like a couple of different colored um, elites that donate elites. rank yeah and it donates rank like the blue ones are like your standard foot soldier and I am getting my ass kicked right now I got really badly caught up in the crossfire and was like shit shit and then that red one is like a uh, sergeant um, yeah the red one's like a is a kind of like a sergeant and then there there are also there are more uh, but for now, we'll we will only be seeing the the blue one and the red one, and there's a jackal there. Fairly there he weak, goes. But he does carry a shield, uh, and they can be quite difficult to deal with. They're fiddly enemies, I would say. They act big and tough until the uh, elite gets shot up, and then they're like, "Fuck this!" Uh, yeah, but like most of the covenant do that, to be honest. Yeah, they also have purple blood. Hmm. Roger, Fireteam Charlie. Good to hear from you. Fohammer, we need transportation to the command shuttle. I'm on my way. Look, 
More lifeboats. They're coming in fast. If those lifeboats make it... So... Uh, oh, look at that. There are more... Hey, more how do we get here first? Escape pods coming their way. And handily, this uh, this lady pilot, Frohammer, who I think is a lieutenant, um, she is driving a pelican, which is uh, a, a fairly common um, aircraft-type vehicle in uh, in the Halo games. She's, she's dropped a Warhog, uh, which is just like a, it's just a car. It's like a Jeep. Yeah. And they are, again, they are like kind of staples of the Halo games, Warhogs. Uh, they have always been good to me. And uh, they're, they're good, pretty good, pretty good vehicles. The way, I'll have to, I do have to say though, like, the way that you control vehicles in the games is a little bit strange. And they never changed it from game to game. Basically how it works is you push forward on the control stick to accelerate and then like you move the camera to steer and it is a bit odd. You do get used to it, but like the first time it's like, ugh. What the fuck is this? Yeah. So we've made it inside this, I was gonna say man-made, but really it looks covenant-made structure. And we're gonna see what's up. I think your friend just died. No, nope, he's, he's alive. He's still going. You can you see he's on the gun, he's still going. He's not going anywhere. No. So that right there's the needler. Um The Needler, I think, is a pretty good weapon. I love the Needler. Needlers is good good stuff. Mm. What you do is basically all the bullets like are homing. Like, they're like small homing missiles, and if you uh, keep it trained on an enemy long enough, and, and, and if enough of the missile, um, the bullets hit an enemy, basically... It triggers a short explosion. Once all the bullets have finished you know, firing, like, the enemy blows up. I see you. You're so fucking rude. <laughs> Like he was he was sitting there like mourning his friend's like lifeless corpse. Also we have plasma grenades now. Which we've been using for a while. Mm, plasma grenades are the covenant uh, grenade type. Uh, and the way they are different from frag grenades is that if you get if you get the the angle that you're aiming just right, you can land them on enemies and they will stick to the enemy and then they will blow up. It's basically like a, a glue grenade. Yeah, it's a sticky grenade. Though, uh, attaching them to enemies from a distance is something of, a, of an art, to be honest. It's, uh, it can be quite difficult. And some people are a lot better at it than I am. There are some very, very good videos online of people sticking grenades to things from, like, miles away. It's kind of incredible. And, like, they'll bounce off of, like, walls or mm -hmm. something like that, hit a ground, and then, like, somebody will kick it, and it will hit, kill them. Yeah. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really also, one thing out. that can happen in this game, which I don't think happens in any of the other Halo games, is that I always get confused in this bit. I'm like, no, not that way. Um, one thing that can happen in this game, which doesn't happen in the other Halo games, at least I don't think so, is if there are like a, a group of grenades on the ground, if you throw a grenade into the middle of them, it will create a much bigger explosion than just throwing one grenade. And I don't think that happens in any other Halo game. Well, I correct me if I'm wrong. I don't. I think. I don't think I've ever. Notice that I think the other grenade, like in the other games, the other grenades don't go off. Yeah, I think in this game that does happen, but then after this game, they, they took that out for uh, whatever reason. Actually, I think I do know the reason, but it's kind of related to something that's coming up in a later episode, a couple episodes from now, so I will save it. Although it is a pretty famous Halo 1 
video to do with um, the Warthog, actually. Well, I probably knows what I'm talking about by now. Um, Which one? It's it's to do with it's it you'll 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 know when I when 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 we get to it you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, sniper rifle. You just used a sniper rifle shot on a fucking grunt. I hope you're happy. But I didn't do it again. <laughs> you learned your lesson. <laughs> yeah, Good boy. I, I I did it, and then was like, why did I waste a bullet on a grunt? <laughs> You were, you were so excited to show off the fucking sniper rifle. Mm. I was just glad to, like, finally have it. A sniper rifle in this game is a great weapon to have. A great, uh, base, fairly standard long-range, very long-range weapon. Uh, hey, hey buddy, you got the sniper, you see that thing over there? No, no? Okay, I guess I'll deal with it then. I mean, Master Chief always has to deal with everything mm. anyway. So the Pro Strat uh, is for this for this section, and also most of the next section is just to kind of hang back, whoop, dodge dodge around any fire uh, that comes our way, and uh, just kind of just kind of pick the enemies off one by one. You shot that man in the knee. I did. I felt a little bit bad about it. So basically, they're just going to keep sending in drop ships and drop off more and more Covenant, and they're trying to trying to get the drop on us, basically. Which they were trying to do previously. They were trying to. Oh no! I left my I left my dude down there. Oh, he's doing a pretty good job on his own, actually. He'll take care of it. He's got a huge Gatling gun. I'm going to try and protect my friend. Who does, in fact, you are quite right, he does have a Gatling gun. I like how another one's coming in just like, Yeah, okay, just move over, bird, I got this. <laughs> now, if you're good enough, I was trying to kind of get a good shot there, but I couldn't quite, uh, I didn't feel confident enough that I would have a, a good enough shot. But if, you, if, you, if you're good enough, you can actually, <laughs> you can actually shoot the Covenant while they're inside the dropship before, like, the door opens. And if you manage that, like, the door of the dropship just kind of flops open. It's quite funny. I managed it on one of my practice playthroughs, but didn't manage it on my recording. Sad face. Sorry, you'll have many more chances. Yes, I will. I'm sure you guys are beginning to understand why having the sniper rifle is a good thing. It puts you out it of harm's way. It is a good way. gun. It puts you out of harm's way. And it's extremely powerful. Although one shot, one kill. In that instance, I'm just like, oh, just that guy's close enough. Oh no, my friend is in very a lot of danger. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna keep him safe. I'm gonna call him John, and he's gonna he's gonna be all right. He's gonna make it. It's all gonna be good. He's oh. Well, Echo 419 to Cortana. You can't Harmony. save the. What? Oh, we read you, what Echo the? 419. What? And need I don't immediate ever remember seeing ba Banshee. Roger, what are these Banshees doing? On my way. I <laughs> are, are they okay? I don't. I have <laughs> never seen this before. I've never. Like, when I saw those Banshees, I was like, wait, Banshees don't spawn at this point. And then they just started doing that. And I was like, what the f I tried shooting at them, but nothing happened. <laughs> And I was like, um, I, I, okay, sure, I mean, that, that's interesting. All right, well, I mean, have fun, guys, I, I'm just gonna leave. That's a weird bug, I've literally never seen that before. Might be an Easter egg. Could be an Easter egg. If it is an Easter egg, let me know. Oh, yes, the mystical spinning banshees <laughs> Easter egg from Halo 1. Oh, hey. We got some new guys. Our good friends, Gunner and Passenger. They were quite, they were quite obviously, they were born to do this job. It well, was, yeah. It was I mean, their destiny. I could understand Gunner. Like, yeah. Gunner sounds like a, like a name that, like, somebody from the South would give their kid. Yeah. 
I got out here because I was looking for the banshees. I wanted to look, take a closer look at them. I, but I couldn't see them. I was like, ah oh, man, they must have like despawned or something. Oh wow. All right, that was uh, mission successful. We got the we got the with the Marines. We got them to safety. So now it is time to rescue another group of Marines pinned down behind these rocks. Yeah, I remember this level is just it kind of takes a while because you're just fucking saving people. I like how the, the elite like stopped and went, "Oh, what you got there, buddy?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also like how the marine is like, well, man, you're all safe for sore eyes, che Dude, wait. What are you doing, man? Yeah, like, moving back and forth like that's not, that's not gonna help you, especially if you keep moving in the... Uh now, right there, that's what I'm talking about with jackals, how they're kind of fiddly. I, I could not get a good shot off on that jackal, like, even though I, I did my best. Every time you shoot a grunt with a sniper rifle, it fucking kills me, dude. <laughs> Are you trying to just no scope sick, them now? Sick no scope. I missed. Oh God, God damn it. Dex, please. Whoops, I think I'm standing in the way of the Gatling gun. But yeah, I know, I do like how one of the soldiers was like, Oh man, Chief, you're a sight for sore eyes, and I just stand there wordlessly shooting things in the head. And they're just all sitting there like, Man, sure is great to be a member of the UNSC. Don't gotta do a thing today. Just watch the Master Chief just do his Fucking job. Fucking destroy everything. I like how the Master Chief is technically strong enough that he could punch a jackal, like, in the face. And it would be like a comedy movie where he punches him through the face and it's just like his hand comes up the other side. Yeah, probably. Oh man, got... Stole my kill. He's trying to help you conserve ammo. At this point, he knows. He's like, fucking... <laughs> Stop using a sniper rifle on a god's man. It's not worth it. Wasted. It's a waste of ammo. There's so much sniper rifle. There's only so much sniper rifle in this level, dude. Come on, what are you doing? Come on, man. You're only gonna get so much more ammo. You can't do this, man. Come on. We're going to look for the last lifeboat, Echo 419. Good luck. Echo 419. That is Frohammer's call sign. Frohammer, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's take a little sneaky peek over by this. Drop pod, and some pistol ammo, and a health pack, and that's pretty much it. Well, that's it, let's go. Remember uh, that old cartoon, or the old uh, Flash game, uh, Warthog Jump? Sort of, yeah, vaguely. Is where you had to put the grenades under the Warthog? Yeah. To make it, like, uh, fly and hit the targets? Mm. Now I got completely that was, I got completely turned around here. What were you gonna say? That was fucking like that was released around the time this happened, and boy, technology really has <laughs> grown. I got completely turned around here because I actually went uh, a different way. I think I went the way you're supposed to go, um, but like the last couple times I did this, I just kind of drove out the way I came in, and then just like drove. A bit. I like that's actually what I've done here is much faster. So I'm glad that I went the different way. So we've reached the, the third, the third place where there are supposed to be more, more soldiers, more marines. Oh hey buddy. Um, but uh, we we can't can't seem to see them anywhere. They seem to have seem to be hiding. So we gotta we gotta find them. I hate it when they start fucking hiding. <laughs> what, the marines? Yeah. Okay, so... Take out these grunts up here. 
they thought they were going to be safe taking recluse up over there, but no. No, we're just going to shoot them all in the face. The scope of my pistol can find anything, anyone. Where is the scope? It's... <laughs> I like to think... Hear me out. I like to think that it's the little red thing. And then he has to hold it, like, right up to his eye. You realize that if that was real, Dex, that the, when the when when the gun shot, um, the the barrel would slide backwards mm. and literally knock his eye out. That's why he wears a helmet. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> the Covenant just watch him like put it up to his eye. And look, what the fuck? What the fuck you doing? <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> I know some real assholes, but this guy. <laughs> This structure over here looks awfully suspicious. I guess we better check it up. Just fucking punch him in the face. Who gives a shit? Hey, look, the soldiers oh. are in here. To be honest, they were doing the smart thing. Hey man, move. You might want to move. Yeah, you might just want to move there. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's just like, let me get in your way, chief. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know, save your lives here. No biggie. NBD, man. You have to imagine that, like, getting killed by grunts is something that must be, like, extremely... Extremely embarrassing? What's the word? Embarrassing, that's the word. Mm. And so, like, they literally run from you. And shit, like they have, they seem to, they don't seem to have any formal training. No. The truth and reconciliation. Like, but like the the likelihood of you being killed by a grunt increases like with each game. Really? Yeah, because they do shit like they give they give grunts bigger and bigger weapons as the games go on. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I remember, I seem to remember grunts with a rocket launcher. Yeah, that does happen. But not in this game. I don't think it might do, but it might not be until Halo 2. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Mr. Chief. Ready for dust off. We should move out, Lieutenant, and then we'll need your help on a rescue mission. That's part two. That's part two? That was... Fearless Cowboy, wasn't it? That, that, no, that, that mission's literally just called Halo. Really? Like, it's broken up into, like, little smaller segments, but the overall mission's just called Halo. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Flawless Cowboy is the name of the thing it just shows at the beginning, so I guess that doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> anyway... Join us next time when we punch more grunts in the face. I know that's going to happen. Yeah, probably. Uh, we're also going to see an elite get hit with a, in the face with another sniper rifle blast. Is there a sniper in the next level? Yes. Okay, yes. We are going to actually start the next level with a sniper rifle. Oh, yes. What's the next level anyway? Uh, I can't say. That will be a spoiler. Okay. Damn. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.